I'm not about these like tiny spindly silver trees with optic lights on them. I'm like, nah. Oh, that's how aggressive I feel about it. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and I hope you're feeling a bit shopping-y. That's another word. And Christmassy. I don't think that's a word either, but I haven't done a CC shop in a while for you guys, but I was super Super excited to do this one because we are going to be searching for a load of Sims for Christmassy related items. I've already tweeted out this question and a lot of you guys have replied with some really cool stuff. So thank you to everybody that got in touch and suggested some Sims 4 stuff for Christmas for our little Simlarinos. I have also been on a massive hunt and found loads of stuff as well. So we are going to be having so, so many awesome Christmassy related episodes in The Sims. We are going to have Broken Christmas, which is going to be a Max, Emma, Emma Max sort of related Christmas for we're gonna have a dream house Christmas, a suburbs Christmas, like it's gonna be super amazing and Christmassy in The Sims. So I hope you guys are excited for that. If you are, give this video a big old thumbs up. As usual, I'm gonna be leaving all the links in the description below, every single one of them in order. So it's gonna be very beautiful for you guys to just grab everything. I'm gonna put it all in little sections which are related to what it is. It's hopefully gonna be really useful because you guys loved the last one I did and said that you couldn't believe I put all the links in there. So I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing in this episode. Also, sorry if I sound a little bit nasal. I am a little bit full of cold, as you guys can tell. So to kick off, I actually just wanna point out that EA actually has its own Christmassy sort of seasonal pack. It is called the Holiday Celebration Pack for The Sims 4 and it is absolutely free. So if you don't like modding your game, if you're a little bit worried about modding it, you can still get a very Christmassy game just by downloading um, the, the EA official one. You can go to Origin and get it and it still looks great. Like you're still gonna have a really cool sort of Sims experience for Christmas or for Hanukkah if you are Jewish or I feel bad but I'm not 100% sure whether this is Hindu or Sikh. I'm not 100% sure but there is basically a whole set of amazing Christmassy or holiday related themes you can get without using any mods. I also want to point out another mod which I tried to use which is the Sims 4 First Snow mod. I downloaded to test this mod. I downloaded each of the packs that I've got as well because there's a, a mod for each pack. I downloaded all of the four pack mods and I tried this. This mod was actually released in 2015 which gives you an idea of how old it is and unfortunately it would not work for me I tried everything and everything was set up correctly in my mods folder and like look how beautiful it could have looked it basically adds snow to all of your sims neighborhoods and it would have looked absolutely gorgeous but because there's been so many updates since this pack was released and cats and dogs broke a lot of recent mods so a mod from 2015 that is as big as this Unfortunately, I could not get working. If you guys have had any more success than me, please let me know in the comments below. But for me, unfortunately, this was a little bit of a write-off. I will, however, still leave a link in the description below. So if you guys want to give it a go, if perhaps you haven't updated your game as much as I have, or you're not running as many mods as I have, it may work for you. If it does, please tweet me because I would love to get it to work, but... For me, it just did not work, you guys. So guys, let's get on to my favorite, favorite bit of all, which is of course the actual Christmas sets that you put inside your house. We're gonna need them for a few different house because we're gonna need one for cats and dogs, for dream house, for in the city, for the suburbs, for a broken dream, broken Christmas. So that's five Christmas sets that we're gonna need. So I've been looking across the board to try and find as many as I can. And hopefully there's gonna be one in here that you guys like as well. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like really pumped for this video because I love Christmas and also because I've had a little bit too much coffee I'm not gonna lie to you guys so let's kick off with the first one which is probably my favorite creator on the whole of the Sims resource when it comes to home stuff it is Severinka and this is her just this one's just literally just called Christmas set it has nine creations so you get the tree you get the wreath you get cute little stockings you get Christmas presents a snow globe a little porcelain duck I was gonna say a snow goose but it's not a snow goose some Christmassy pictures, some candles, and some lights for the tree as well. And this is how pretty this set looks. I'm just gonna make it big so you guys can see it full. So it's just like, I'm I'm absolute sucker for like a traditional Christmas. So like a really big tree, beautiful lights, like gorgeous stockings, lots of like really traditional stuff. I don't know, I just think Christmas should be like, I'm not about these like tiny spindly silver trees with optic lights on them. I'm like, nah. 
Oh, that's how aggressive I feel about it. I'm like, make it big, make it like traditional and beautiful and big and cool. I, hope, I don't know if you guys feel like that as well. If you do, let me know in the comments below. So that was the first set. Absolutely adore that creator. This one, however, is it, like the tree is a little bit sadder and smaller looking, but no houses have the space for a big tree. So I was kind of thinking that this set would be good for that as well. So you've got a little bit of a smaller tree. I love like the garland and the fireplace and stuff you get in it. It's a set with 10 creations. So you get this kind of like little couch, you get the little poof, a little table, you actually get the um, fireplace kind of thing as well. You get the tree, little candles, snow globe stars, a Merry Christmas banner and the little rug as well. So a little bit smaller and low key, but you know what? We love Christmases all shapes and sizes. So this 1D Moon one could be the set for you. Don't forget all of them in the description below. So back to Severinka because she is my absolute fave. This is a Scandinavian Christmas. And apparently Scandinavians smash Christmas because look at this. A beautiful tree, you've got the little fireplace with the logs in it, loads, look at these little, little stockings, there's even one that says kitty on it. Beautiful wreaths, chairs, presents, the whole shebang, like look at this, look at this, high res gorgeousness. Look at these little houses with candles inside them, look at this little rug that you can throw over your chair, basically gorgeous. So this is a set with 20 creations, which is just mud. All the furniture, you've got the um, fireplace again with the little wood inside of it, you've got the little stockings, a little wreath that like runs down the table, very big fan of that, or you can put it on top of the uh, fireplace as well. Loads of like just, just cuteness you guys, and like uh, little wall garlands, lights to put around the tree, a little twirly light. I like literally, this video is using up all of my energy because I'm so pumped, I'm so pumped. Okay, so that is again Severinka, you absolute legend. And even more Severinka, you guys. If you're actually an eagle eye, you will have spotted that I, I've had this in my series for a really long time. These lights actually sit alongside the side of Joxie's uh, bed. And so is the mirror. Like literally most of this stuff was in Joxie's room because I thought even though this is like a Christmassy kind of room, it's so nice that it doesn't just have to be for Christmas. So. You've got a few different colour variations. I think you've probably seen me use most of these at some point in my Sim series. That is how much I love this set. So it's an absolutely gorgeous set. It has 13 creations. Again, we've got a fireplace, a bed. You've got like the cover to go on top of the bed and a throw for the end of it. You've got lights that face both directions, like the lights inside the pot, which is really cool. You've got the mirrors, the clocks. These cushions I use on a lot of people's beds. You've got even curtains that come with this and a faux fur rug. I refuse to believe that any of the rugs are fur because that's cruel and horrible. Oh my gosh, look at those creepy teeth. Eh. So all the rugs are faux fur, always faux fur, you guys. The fur belongs on the animals, okay? And then I'm clearly quite obsessed with Severinka. So she has this beautiful outdoor set. So we've got the wreath on the outside of the door, loads of little lanterns. We've got little lights that go around the door as well. I'm actually gonna check to see if this set includes the out. Okay, so it is literally all just the lantern-y kind of lights. I was kind of hoping it may include the uh, the beautiful outdoor trees with the snow on them. Unfortunately, it doesn't, but I still think it's a really, really nice set. So, we are off Severinka and we're on to another creator, which is the Sim Credible stuff. How cute is her picture, by the way? So, this is another beautiful kind of living room set. You've got the tree, you've got like the little lights that are hanging from like, the little decorations that hang from the ceiling and on the walls. You've got these kind of like brrr, lights, which I think are pretty cool stuff for your table. Just like a nice kind of Christmassy set. And this has 18 creations. So look, you've even got like the cheese fondue and that kind of thing. And just loads of like nice kind of like little decor bits, which I think are really, really nice. I like little decor things. And what's really cool about this creator as well is they have another set, which is a build your own Christmas tree set. So you get the tree itself and it will eventually look like this. It has loads of empty slots and you decide what goes on the tree. There's a few different trees to choose from. There's all the little different decorations that you put on. So look, you can put on the candy canes, the stockings, the baubles, the lights, the whole shebang. So I like that because it's like a decorate your own tree kind of thing. Here are the different trees and the different decorations and the lights and stuff that you can put on top. Basically a really, really awesome set. I hope that you guys think it's as cool as I do because I think one of the most fun things about Christmas is decorating your tree. Look out for this weekend on my channel if you want to see me decorate my tree in real life with the help of a reindeer dressed Eevee. There we go. Okay, on to the next. So this is a much, much more simple set. But again, little house sometimes means little Christmas set. So this is the Christmas time set. 
It has a very small tree, but you know, not everyone has the time to decorate a tree. Or what you could do is have a big full tree in your living room, and then this could just be like a little hole decoration, see? Always thinking, you guys. So it comes in a few little different colors. There's nine creations in this set, and it's basically all of the little different bits. It even has like the little Christmas deer, like boxy, almost like Minecrafty kind of deer, which I like a lot as well. That's by Solo Ria. Oof, I am so running out of steam, but I'm gonna keep pushing through like a steam train. So this is the Elegance Dining Room, and I actually selected this one because I like the Christmas tree with like the little snow on it. And I love the Christmas gifts and stuff as well. It's a really pretty set, but it is designed for um, a dining room, so you do get the table and the chairs as well, and like the little dresser and stuff. And I like like this kind of thing, like you get some like little clutter in there as well. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of clutter because cl because clutter actually makes your house look very more much more real and less simish. So it comes with loads of clutter as well, and every grandma in the world has those plates. So you can help them too with the help of the set. Okay, I have a lot. I'm smashing on to the next one. So this one's called Cranberry Peony. It's by Kilo Metro. And let me just have a look at the stuff that's in the set first because there's 14 things in the set. So this one's cool because it gives you a lot of stuff that's not necessarily Christmassy stuff. So you get like the bed, you get the chair, you get like a lot of clutter, you get the, um, you do get the Christmas tree, you do get the um, Christmas helicopter it's called, and the cookies, which I think is probably my favorite part of the set. So you can see the bedroom in action there looking really cool. I like like the hanging thing. Uh, that goes above the table and I love like on the wall here you've got the little guile and the little um, um, ice skates and stuff just loads of really nice kind of Christmassy stuff and you've got the little cookies and helicopter centerpiece for the table there as well something a little bit different but again very very cool and then if you kind of prefer a contemporary Christmas if you don't want to be vacuuming up pine needles or putting together your faux Christmas tree this could be the set for you friendos because this is the contemporary Christmas set and this is meant to be the Christmas tree here. So it's kind of like a shelf, which I guess you'd put the gifts in. But the reason I selected it is because I love, love Christmas stockings. And this one had some particularly cute Christmas stockings. So if you look at the set, you get the Christmas stockings, you get the little tree, you get like almost like the little vase with the baubles in it, which my mum actually does at home in Harrogate. She has like a, a big glass sort of vase in the middle of the table in the living room that she puts all like baubles and like wraps um, Christmas lights in. It just looks really pretty as like a centerpiece. My mum's really good at like house stuff. So that was kind of an ode to my mum and it comes with some little pictures and stuff as well which I really like. Okay guys, we're almost at the end of the Christmas stuff for the home. This is actually a set from 2016 and I just thought this tree was really big and cool and the wreath and stuff is as well. So loads of cool stuff. I think you may actually get that little table in the middle as well. Yeah, and you get all these different color variations. I mean, I would be going for that one because I like a traditional Christmas tree and traditional Christmas colors, but I thought all of them were really, oh, actually I would go for this one. I think that one's really, really nice. So I just thought it was a really, really pretty set. There's some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff in there. And if we actually go to the set, we can see everything that's in it because it's got 10 creations. So you get the fireplace, you do get that little uh, table in the middle. You get loads of nice stuff to hang and loads of like, you get the tree itself and loads of little ways to decorate it too. So I thought that was really, really cool. And that is by Joe John Sims, who also has this morning clutter set, which one of you guys sent me on Twitter. So thank you. You guys know how much I love clutter. And this will help us just fill out all the houses and add loads of Christmassy stuff to them. I think it's going to look really cool once you pack it with all of the stuff. The set comes with nine creations and they are all super Christmassy. <laughs> I need to like tone it down a little bit. We watched Friends recently and Ross has this thing where he's like, Tone it down, Joey! Joey hates it and that's kind of what I need to do right now. I need a Ross in my life. So the final kind of interior sort of set that I'm showing you guys is the yummy Christmas one, which comes with all of this delicious looking stuff. So we have a card, we have like the little lemon tea with the little Christmas tree over the side. We've got what I can assume is probably eggnog up here. We have cookies, we have the Yule log, Christmas cake at the bottom, some cookies and some ho 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 cookies as well. So basically it's just loads of beautiful, yummy, delicious clutter. Which I like because even though they can't eat it in The Sims, at least it kind of looks like they're eating you guys. Whew, so that is all of our sort of interior homey kind of stuff that we're going to be decorating each of the houses a little bit differently. Although actually as soon as I said that, I did find one more that I wanted to show you guys, which are just more Christmassy lights. 
because I want to decorate the outside of my houses if I can as well. So here is just some lights that you can use to you know, decorate the outside of your house too in the description below. So on to our final little Christmassy CC section, which is gonna be all like clothing and stuff for toddlers, for children, and a few little bits for adults as well. I haven't added as much of this stuff, just because there's quite a lot of like jumpery sort of stuff in game that I've already got anyway. And also because it kind of bugs me having to go through um, like clothing mode and always see them there. Like you, I feel like you edit your Sims appearance a lot more than you edit your Sims home. And if it's like June and I'm still seeing all these Christmas jumpers, it's probably gonna annoy me a little bit. So. It's a little bit less of this stuff, but still some really nice stuff to show you guys. So first of all, this is actually something, again, you guys sent me on Twitter, so thank you for that. It is a little toddler um, jumpsuit, or like a little onesie actually, a little toddler onesie for Christmas. And I love this because it actually looks like a really nicely made bit of CC, you know when like the textures look really good? looks really high res, it just looks really nicely made. And I think in particular, this one with the little reindeer on the front is absolutely gorgeous. So I don't know whether uh, Faith will still be a toddler around the Christmas time, but we know that Ryder still will be. So I'm very tempted to put Ryder in this cute little number here. But all of them are absolutely gorgeous. So you get all four of them in that set. And then moving on, we have this very, very cute little toddler Christmas dress. See, the thing is, if we do keep Faith as a toddler for a little bit longer, she can wear th that toddler's really creepy looking right away, and it has Emma's hair. She would be able to wear this really cute sort of little Christmas dress creation. I think it's quite adorable. It's very sort of, uh, I don't know, like Scandinavian again, like, or like German beer fest, I guess, kind of vibes. But again, very, very cute. The links for that are also in the description below. And then I guess this would kind of work if we did age up little Faith. She could have this sort of a uh, little Christmas jumper for Christmas Day, which I think is very, very cute. We've got a little penguin one, a little like girly whirly reindeer one, a little polar bear, and a penguin wearing a Rudolph hat. Does it get much better than that? And then I guess if we did age up um, Faith, we have this child Christmas dress. Which is very cute as well. I do like it. it's got little different colours underneath. And again, it just looks like quite a nicely, nicely made kind of little bit of CC for you guys. So that is by uh, Burba32. And it's, a, it's I think it could work. I think it could work for Faith. We also have these Christmas sweaters as well. In case she doesn't want something quite so girly. And they're a little bit more kind of uh, contemporary, I guess. We've got a little polar bear one. A little let it snow. And then for a boy, we've got I am on the nice list. Maybe we can give that to Connor, although I don't know if Connor would be on a nice list. And then just some stuff for the adults as well. So some little Christmas jumpers for the boyings. I think the girls will probably want to wear like quite formal dresses on Christmas Day. But for the guys, they could uh, rock up in a Christmas sweater. I could definitely see James and Taylor in one of these little cheekies. And then finally for the girly whirlies, you know, it's a little bit colder outside. You need some boots that can fare that cold weather. So I got these uh, Mila knee length boots as well, which I think look really, really trendy and really, really warm. So this is the part where I would usually go into the game and show you how all of that stuff looks. However, I am not gonna do that in this particular CC shopping episode because what I wanna do is decorate all of my Sims homes for each like, episode. So the Suburbs one we'll do in a Suburbs episode. The Dreamhouse one we'll do in a Dreamhouse episode. So I wanna save it all for then so that we can kind of work out which one works best for each home. And so you guys can see them in the home for the first time and it won't be ruined by doing it early in this CC episode. So hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. If you guys liked all the CC, please let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna try any of it in your own home, Home. If you tweet me a picture on Twitter or if you tag me on Instagram, I will go and check out your beautiful Christmassy homes. I can't wait to see how they look. And please let me know in the comments which one of those sets you think will work best for each of our Sim households. So hopefully you guys enjoyed all this video and hopefully all the links in the description are going to be super, super helpful for you guys. If you did enjoy this episode, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up and don't forget to share it if you've got any friends that you think will enjoy it or if you've got any friends that are looking for any custom TC around Christmas. I think this video will be super, super helpful for them. And every time you share my videos, it really, really helps out my channel. So thank you so much to everyone that does that or everyone that's got notifications on. Thank you guys so, so much. Very much in the Christmas spirit. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really looking forward to our Sims 4 Christmassy videos and I'll see you guys in another episode. Bye.